Hi everyone, this is Reina, and this is if you have your natal Jupiter in the sixth house. The sixth house is a house of the service that you provide to others. It's also health, and it's also your daily routine, your daily schedule. You could call it time management as well. Jupiter is this benevolent influence that has a lot of positive aspects to it. And even the negative ones are more about overindulgence and um, being overly optimistic. So even the things that are supposedly negative are really um, just excess of the positive, kind of like um, the Nine of Cups in the Tarot. I would say. So um, when wherever you have Jupiter in your natal chart, this is going to be an area that is very lucky for you. And, you know, the word luck, we can debate about what it really means. To me, it means alignment. It means that when you do something, there is this resonance. It's not, you know, it, when you think about misalignment, it's like, a day late and a dollar short, doing something and always feeling like um, you're missing the mark. But when you're aligned, it's like it always seems to fit. It always seems to work. So work itself can be something that you're really aligned to. And the work can also lead to other things because Jupiter is associated with expansion and so it can open doors for you. And I don't think that it has to be all, you know, connected to career work and things like that. I think it can be, you know, in your life as a whole. Let's say you're an educator and you make these connections and uh, you're able to go to a lot of uh, conferences or other types of um, academic uh, activities, but it has an enriching um, effect on your life as a whole. It's not just about getting ahead professionally. And it's important to differentiate the sixth from the 10th house, house um, in terms of what it represents, because the sixth house is the actual work that you're doing and the service to others. And it can give the it's more, uh, it's a, I was going to say it's more down to earth, but both of those, the sixth and the 10th houses are both earth houses, but it's more of the day to day kind of a grind, if you will, your schedule, your work schedule and the conditions in the office place, or if you're working from home, whatever those conditions are, your coworkers and the 10th house is more of the status, the reputation, I call the 10th house more of the glory and the 6th house more of the um, uh, nitty-gritty, whatever you want to call it. So um, because Jupiter has uh, such a fortunate vibe to it, uh, you can find opportunities through your coworkers as well. You may have good relationships with them. And this is something that is not always the case. If somebody has Pluto in the sixth house, they can have kind of the Machiavellian games and the power plays and things like that. Um, and, you know, work can be, I, I would say uh, work can be easy for you. It flows very easily. If you think about a planet like Saturn in the sixth house or the 10th house, it can, the person can become successful, but it takes a lot of elbow grease. It's like they have to really apply themselves and they might have to work long hours. There can be a slavish quality to it. And Jupiter can be one of those things where you luck into, you know, certain work um, situations. And maybe this is like a, a running theme in your life that you always land the perfect job for you. And it's easy for you to stay employed. And I, I really do believe there are people like that <laughs> because I've, I've, um, I've seen people who they always seem like they 
have a job, maybe they have a spare job. Uh, and that's another thing too, you might have more than one job at the same time, because Jupiter has that expansive quality. But it's, it to me, it's, and this, this can happen too, if you're, if you have Jupiter transiting the sixth house, where you have like more work than you know what to do with. But this is in your natal chart. So this is like a, a constant where um, you don't have to ever worry about being unemployed. Like you'll always have a job somehow. Maybe like a coworker hooks you up or something. If you've left uh, the job that you have, uh, you know, currently are doing, you have somebody that, you know, gives you the poop, gives you the, the scoop about uh, other job openings in, you know, the company or a, a subsidiary, whatever you want to call it. So um, you might be somebody that is inspirational in the workplace because um, Jupiter rules the ninth house, which is the house of Sagittarius. And there's always this like, positive thinking, the guru, the, you know, the mentor, that type of thing. That could be what you are, but it's like this beacon of hope that other people look to. You might be very um, happy-go-lucky in the workplace, and that rubs off on other people, and they really are inspired by your um, constant good mood. You can be very hardworking, organized, and detail-oriented. Oh, by the way, I compiled this list from advancedastrology.com. I did add a few things. Like, I added detail-oriented because I know that this is Virgo's um, domain, the sixth house. And, you know, they mentioned hardworking and organized, and that's definitely Virgo, but uh, detail-oriented as well. And um, some of the types of work that you may gravitate uh, towards can be uh, through education. That's a big one. And th that can include uh, foreign languages or just language itself, publishing. I would say writing. Um, they didn't mention that, but I'd say writing. So education, I put teaching. I don't know why I said teaching and education. Uh, but, you know, maybe because sometimes people are in the the, the field of education, but they're not actually teaching. They might be an administrator or something like that. Um, health, because that is the domain of the sixth house, is health. Animals, um, <laughs> maybe a, a working for a vet or being a vet, because um, pets are associated with the sixth house. Um, small domesticated animals, I, I don't no, maybe, I guess you could be a zookeeper, but I don't, I, I think that that is, I don't know what house larger animals are associated with. And um, you, you may be like a lifelong learner in your particular field where you get, um, more and more training. You don't just stay where you are. You're always like trying to learn more. That could be something that you do. And let's see. In terms of health, because like I said, this is the uh, area of health. One thing that you have to watch out for, you might have good health, uh, you know, overall, but you might um, be self-indulgent because that is a, a, an aspect of Jupiter and you might eat to excess and gain weight and have like kind of um, an easy time gaining weight. So you might have to really keep that, um, keep your, you know, awareness of that. Also, you have to be careful about not working too hard because that might be something that you tend to just do naturally. But this is a very fortunate place for um, Jupiter. This can, you can um, make a lot of connections through work that can um, bless your life as a whole. So um, 
anyway, that's what I have for you. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.